Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, August 21st, 2016. The tarot card for today is the Ten of Swords. Wow, can you believe it's already August 21st? How has the full moon, penumbral lunar eclipse in Aquarius been treating you? All right, that was back on the 18th. I'm sure you're seeing changes happening. Hmm, have you checked out the video I did on Patreon? It's an in-depth reading, tarot guidance for that eclipse. You'll also find one there if you go on today. And it's for the annular solar eclipse in Virgo on September the 1st. Okay, those are available for a $2 a month pledge on Patreon. And I want to thank everyone who's come there so far. They seem to be very much enjoying the readings. Now, I am so excited about this. All right, there are people out there going, oh my God. Oh my God, the Ten of Swords. Cecilia, what are you trying to do to me? I want you to look at this picture, okay? Think back and go back and look at the various Ten of Swords we've had over the past year or so, okay? It really kind of started to hit home a month or two, maybe two months ago, when that guy washed up on the shore, all right? He made it to the shore with the swords in his back. Who can forget that? I think that was at the end of May. Hmm. All right. Now, look at where we are now. There's the swords. But where are you? Maybe still a little injured or still a little wounded. But you've gotten up and walked away. Do you see that? Do you see that? I am so amazed by this. I'm like, who comes up with these cards that are just so perfect for where we are on our path? It's amazing to me. All right. So, yeah, things were tough and things were stressful, but you've overcome so much of it. Whatever it is that you did this past week has allowed you to turn your back on at least part of the stress. So you may still be feeling the effects of it, but you know, like, there's darkness ahead. Look at that darkness, all right? This is why I keep saying October the 8th, October the 8th. I hope we get some really bright cards because I have that feeling like the 8th, 9th, and 10th over that Columbus Day weekend when we get to, it's Columbus Day in the U.S., it's Thanksgiving in Canada. That weekend, things are feeling better and brighter and more positive. But here you are. I don't think it matters now. Like, I think you now have the faith in the universe to get up and walk away from the stressful things that have been in your life and to go forward, forward. And, you know, before, and this is the only way that I can explain it. I mean, the unknown is scary. Everyone was pretty much willing to stay in a bad situation because they didn't know what else there would be. You know, like, what would fill that void in their lives? That feeling has changed. You've all grown so much. And I'm so proud of you. I really have to say this, that you've put your faith in what is to come. And you're not having a fear of the darkness because you know that it's not really dark. It, the universe is taking you to where you need to be. And when you get to this being past the eclipses and the Mercury retrograde and all the other things that are happening, well, it's just going to be so different. And it's going to be different for everyone. And I don't know how to explain it, but I think today's a good time to talk about it because it feels like that October 8th, 9th, 10th, that weekend coming up, it's like a holiday weekend for many. And there's something happening there that you know things feel better. And you know that you're, like, here we are. You know, you've turned your back on a lot of stress. And you're getting away from something. So I think you feel much better about it by then. Because you still have some things to do. It's not complete at the moment. All right? But that journey that starts in October, it takes you toward your hopes and dreams. And the best way I can explain it is that I feel that there were dreams that were long ago abandoned. 
you may have forgotten about them, but the opportunity finally comes to go in that direction. It's a, it's a truly amazing thing. And for many of you who have been on this earth longer than many others, you will finally reach that point in your life, which this could also like bring me to tears for some of you, but it will be your turn. It's your time. You've suffered long enough. So see, finally, all of that Saturn and Scorpio stuff that was going on for years with the Pluto-Uranus squares, all of that, it's behind you and you're going forward. I don't even know if I can say anymore. I'm just saying, get up, get away from it all and continue on doing whatever else it is, whatever else it takes to get you to that better time in October. And you will be so glad you did. I want to thank you all for listening and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.